Hi, this is Becky Nunn of Nunn Design, and this next project I'm going to be doing for Beauty Holic is a decorative bobble. It's making a piece that's very similar to this. And in previous videos, you could have seen this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we'll finish it off with that one. For this project, you will need to have a bead cap, a head pin, some crystal clay, some chitons, cutters, and some round nose pliers. For the first step, you want to put on your gloves because when you're handling the crystal clay when it is in this form of the raw resin, you're going to want to always be wearing your gloves. So pinch off two pea-sized balls equal size and then you're going to go ahead and knead those until they are no longer marbled. You have 90 to 120 minutes to work with the clay, so you have plenty of time to do this project. Once your clay is fully mixed, you'll have a ball that looks like that. Once your clay is mixed, you'll want to roll it into a nice smooth ball. And depending on how big you want your bead dangle, ball to be. You can have it really big, such as that, but if that is too big, you can pinch off a wee bit, re-roll it into a nice round ball, and see how that works better for you. I like that. So this is what I'm trying to avoid, is little creases or dimples in the clay like that. It just makes it a little bit more challenging to embed the crystals all nice and evenly. So I'll make it nice and smooth. See how the difference is? That was a lucky little mistake there to show you another little tidbit of a tip and, a t a tip and technique. <laughs> then you're going to take your head pin and you're going to poke it through and looking for the center mark just going to poke it right in and you might have to feel your way a little bit and then out the other side. And this one I'm going to go ahead and pull it through and embed it down inside of the crystal clay. So I'm going ahead and pinching over that tip part. Don't worry about it too much as if it changes the form because that's going to be right at the edge. So you're just tapping it down and blending it all together. If you, if you have some wet wipes, I highly recommend just cleaning up as you go along to make sure that you didn't get any of the crystal clay on your metal and also go ahead and clean it off your head pin so it doesn't get onto your fingers. The next step is going to be using your toothpick with a little bit of beeswax on the top. This comes with inside your package of your crystal clay. You'll want to practice turning your chitons over with the head with the beeswax toothpick so you can pick them up and that's what you're going to want it to look like is that pointy part of the chiton is going to be facing down. I always start on the bottom or the outside edge and go all the way around and then when I finished all the way I'll go into the next layer. If you're having problems with the chitons coming out, just slightly turn your beeswax toothpick and it will release. You also want to make sure that you're not pressing down too hard into the clay. As you can see, they're placed inside of there, but they're not fully all the way down in there. That's just to prevent it from getting too cattywamped of a surface. Once you press them down they're too hard, they're really hard to get out. So I can use my fingers later to go in and sculpt it and press them down even farther. So if you like you can spread them out so that they're far apart and see more of the clay or you can keep them nice and tight like you're seeing 
what I'm doing now. It's over a hundred degrees outside of the Beetaholic studio today, and I'm just totally dreading a drip of sweat dripping down onto this paper as I'm working. <laughs> I'm just squeezing them slightly together, that last to close up that slight gap right there. And now I'm ready to go to my next layer. Just kind of going around and pressing it down slightly. There's an example of cattywampt. Just took it out. So I just noticed that I had pulled too tightly down and my bead cap was coming all the way down. I'm just gonna press that back up in there a little bit. Go ahead and squeeze. See, I'm pressing those chatons in there and re-sculpting it to make it a nice round ball. And we're ready to go to the next level. And now we'll let this set for about two hours and then we'll come back in and trim away the excess of the head pin and bend our loop. Next we're going to go ahead and trim away our head pin approximately mm, half an inch from the base. So we've let this fully set for about two hours and that head pin is very firmly secure in there. And we'll want to keep this little remnant because there's great things that we can do with our leftover crystal clay and our leftover remnants that you can refer to in other Beetaholic videos. And then using your round nose, needle nose, pliers, just start to loop and bend the wire down to the base and then straightening it back up. And now you have a great little dangle that you can put onto your charm bracelet, a necklace, or make a pair of earrings with.